find the load current for these three different load values. Let's solve this problem together. We can repeat the analysis for each load resistance given, but that would not be a wise decision. Instead, let's find the Thevenin equivalent circuit with respect to these two terminals. And then we would do the repeated analysis on that simplified circuit, and that will be much easier. We'll begin by finding the Thevenin resistance, the resistance looking into terminals A and B. We'll deactivate the sources, so the current source will become an open circuit, and the voltage source will become a short. The circuit will look like this. It's clear that R Thevenin is the 1 ohm resistor in series with the parallel combination of the 4 and 12 ohm resistors. 4 in parallel with 12 is 3, plus 1 would be 4 ohms. So this is the Thevenin resistance. To find the Thevenin voltage, we need to find this open circuit voltage between terminals A and B. What circuit analysis technique shall we use? We can use nodal analysis, mesh analysis, superposition as well. But I see potential for source transformation, so let's use this. We have this voltage source in series with the 4 ohm resistor, so let's replace it with a current source. The 4 ohm resistor would come down in parallel, and the current source would be 32 over 4, which is 8. I believe it's now clear why I opted for source transformation. We have two current sources in parallel and two resistors in parallel, so we can simplify the circuit a great deal. The equivalent current source would be 8 plus 2, which is 10 amperes, and the 4 and 12 ohm resistors in parallel give 3 ohms. Great, and now we can do one more source transformation and convert this current source in parallel with the resistor into a voltage source. The voltage source would be 10 times 3, which is 30 volts, and the 3 ohm resistor would come in series like this. And now, no further analysis is needed, because V Thevenin is clearly 30 volts. There is no path for the current to flow, and so no voltage drop across the 3 ohm or 1 ohm resistors. And so the 30 volts of the source will be seen across the terminals A and B. With V Thevenin and R Thevenin, we have this Thevenin equivalent circuit. So if we now insert the load resistance RL, we can find the load current IL using a simple formula, voltage over resistance. With this, we can find the load current for any load resistor value, and it'll be a walk in the park. Very easy.